What's up, everybody? It's your boy A. Joining me today is Miss and Bliss. Today we coming to you live with another review of Attack on Titan episode six, The Warhammer. So, gents, I know everybody has been talking about this. Everybody has been hyped for this episode, and I'd just like to know how did you guys find this episode that just occurred? If you guys don't mind me going first, I would love to. No flops, no flops, bro. Uh, yeah. So, first of all, um, just to make it clear, I am a manga reader, so everything that happened in the episode did not surprise me, just to make it clear. Um, but with regards to the episode itself, um, yeah, man, it was a good episode, you know, besides the obvious thing that people are going to complain about. And I'm not saying that it, was, it wasn't bad, it was the CGI. Um, besides that, yeah. Really good episode, as I said. I thought the pacing was great. Um, they added a scene at the beginning with regards to Willy Tiber, which was really interesting, and it really, you know, made him like have a connection better. I'd say personally, like you know, it really. How can I put it into like you know proper words? I'd say, um, yeah, it gave him like, as I said. It gave him a bit of like um, motivation in a way, you know, motivation for what he's actually doing, putting his life on the line for his family and everything, knowing yeah, that he's basically. going into, yeah, you know, knowing that he's going to declare war and a possibility of, you know, an ambush, of which I really don't know how these guys predicted this, really. I mean, Thinking about it, okay, wait, yeah, with regards yeah. to the Marlian ships disappearing and everything, they had to be, you know, they had to pick up on that for sure. But like, yeah, it was a really good episode, as I said, man. Um, in terms of pacing and everything, no complaints on my side. But we'll get into it once everybody else has already shared their views. So you guys take the floor. Thanks, blessed. Hey, miss. So what's your take on the episode, man? Yeah, man. You know, I, I like the episode. It was really good. Uh, from the beginning, you know, when it first started, I was like, with that whole scene, that the whole added scene, I was like, what the hell is this? I'm not lie, dude. I'm like sitting here and I'm watching this thing. I'm seeing this. I'm like, who are these people? What? What, what is this? You know, like, what? What? You know, but then, yeah, like you mentioned, it made Willie seem more humane and it made him seem as if he was more than willing to die, I guess, because he was prepared. Because I know, like, from last week, we've been seeing these memes. Uh, we've been seeing these memes, uh, you know, when Willie declares war and then spends, yeah. out of nowhere, this guy's been cut in half, you know. So I guess yeah. this kind of this kind of like uh, expresses all the, all these jokes now because it's like, hey guys, guess what? This guy was more than willing to put his life on the line, and I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, overall, I love the episode. It was an amazing episode, you know. Even just like watching it for me, I was like, mm, this is really gruesome, you know, because like flip, bro, people are dying left, right, and center. This kid is like, why did my, why did um, Zofia and that other dude, I forget his name, had to die, you know? And that just brought me back to season one of Attack on Titan, you know? Like, Aaron was like, why did my mom have to die, you know? And like, it just plays in your yeah. head. It's like, whoa, bro, you know, these people are running the chaos and whatnot. It's like, they don't care. As long as I survive, I'm happy, you know? And that's, it's, it's a bit concerning. But yeah, overall, like I said, it was an amazing episode. I loved it. I loved, especially towards the ending. You know, I don't want to say anything else, but when we get deeper into it, yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm talking about. You know, everything yeah. changed. Yeah. You know, mm. everything changed. But yeah, I, I loved it. How, how about you, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, everything changed the day the colossal tides came up. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. I'm joking, gents. Um, yeah, man, it, it it was actually a very good take. I mean, the fact that they actually started off the episode with William. Uh, I mean, Willie. Um, it does. It does tell us that, hey, man, what you guys are about to see um, is is going to be it's going to be it's going to be hectic. Um, it's it's like the same as the calm before the storm, man. Um, it just gave us that that whole sympathy for 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 Willie, you know. Unlike his death, yeah, his death was kind of pretty tragic. And also, Aaron having to eat him, I'm pretty sure that, oh, really, mistook, really thought that he was actually the, the Warhammer Titan. I don't blame him, though. I'd also think the same. 
So yeah, man, yeah, man. Um, it was a, overall, it was a great episode. Um, just not entirely okay with the action, but uh, that's that's we'll go more in depth with that as time progresses. But Myth, you did mention something about the CGI, um, and Blitz did say something about the CGI too. So what do you guys have to say about the CGI for this episode? Because I'm already seeing memes off the CGI. In regards to the action in the episode, it was like stop and start, bruh. I really don't enjoy that when it comes to, you know, action scenes in anime. I don't enjoy yeah. stop and start. I rather it being constant, you know, and it having pauses in between, especially something of this magnitude, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. This is the debut of the Warhammer Titan and the way in which things were going about, you know. I understand that one scene, of course, where Eren is assessing his surroundings and what's going on and how the Warhammer Titan functions. But then there were just too many pauses, bro, if you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it was just with regards to that. Um, but with regards to the CGI now, as you were saying. Yeah. It was good in some parts, but then not all the time. That's what I'll say. Um, it was good in, at some parts, and then not all the time. And then sometimes it was used unnecessarily. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. I can, I can agree on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, this thing makes me laugh. Man. Like you know that that unnecessary gene CGI, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, <laughs> it was ungodful, man. It was ungodful. Old for man is looking like he's from a PS2 game, bro. Like <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man, <laughs> exactly. Spider -Man, oh, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. So, yeah, miss, what's your take on the CGI and the action sequence of this episode? Yeah, I agree with that. You know, like it was stop and start. It was like bam, 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 stop. What's happening? Bam, bam, bam. You know, we got to, I was glad we got to see Mikasa, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was kind of glad there. Uh, anyway, she looks ugly. But yeah, you know, the. What? CGI, wait, CGI wait, 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 wait. 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 He needs a timer. Uh, you need a red card. Red card in that one, bro. Red card in that one. What? Uh, bro, red card. Send him off. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, Mr. Oh, please continue, man. Please continue. <laughs> please do continue. Yeah. Like I was just saying, I was just like, yeah, it was, CGI was, was unnecessary, you know, like the whole gene thing. Because as I was watching, I'm like, wait. That guy looks a bit too bright, you know, and then I went back and then I just, I just looked at it and I was like, Spider-Man, you know, I'm just thinking like, what and why, you know, but yeah, the action, like I mentioned earlier, the action, I don't know, for me, it was, it was okay, you know, the only action that I loved in the whole thing was action towards the end, like I mentioned earlier, you know, yeah. at the end, yeah. it just, it just made, it just made the whole episode for me, I was like, mm, everything is changing now, you know. The, the music mm. changed, everyone's facial expression changed, even the title on the ground was like, what the hell is happening, man? I'm about to die, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But yeah, man, I mean, CGI was unnecessary. I will say, so, sorry, I will say, um, even though I do love Levi, I'm a Levi fan, I did not appreciate what he did to Porco. Man. <laughs> oh, that's, no, man. that's your man. <laughs> That's my man, bro. You know the way he just made him look like that, bro. But you know that's what Levi does. So we'll let yeah. it slide. Although, man, I will say I'm not a fan of it, Levi. Oh, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah. Um, to be quite honest with you, um, if I may say, um, compared to its prede predecessors, I, I don't know, man. The CGI, yes, they are bold with the move. Um, you know, especially with the with the Titans, I'm pretty cool with that part. But it's just that sometimes it looks as if their movements are slower, you know, and the action just it's not as dramatic as it used to be. Um, for example, the Aaron versus Reina uh, uh, episodes that 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 action was just you know you were really in tune with it. But unlike here, yeah, man, um, for me, it just it just didn't hit the same, man. It just didn't. It didn't give me that, oh my gosh, this is actually happening, you know. 
But uh, all in all, I'm pretty okay. Um, you know, pretty content with the full episode, with the fighting too, and the action. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just really hoping that there's more next week, hopefully. So yeah, man. I also want to ask, since you guys already read the manga, um, comparing it to the action on, on of the CGI, do you think it was pretty on point for? Like, as I said, with regards to it being start and stop, was pretty irritating. Um, with regards yeah. to it being in the manga, I mean, everything in the manga is going to flow better, of course, right, as you move from panel to panel. But with, with it being start and stop in the episode was a bit, yeah, as I said, it was a bit irritating because, you know, you'd even take your eyes off the screen at a certain point. And you really can't do that in my eyes when it comes to like fighting scenes or action scenes in an anime. Like it has to keep you glued on the screen, you know, yeah. your eyes. It has to keep your eyes glued on the screen. But like, yeah, it's not terrible. Um, it was good, of course. We appreciate the work that the MAPPA animators put in. You know, we're just saying that it could have been better, in our opinion, in our humble opinion, it could have been better. But like, as you said, you're hoping for more next week, most definitely there is going to be more action next week. I think this wraps up in the next episode if not the next episode the beginning of the following one that's what i think happens so yeah man good episode as we said you know not a lot to go off on but yeah it was just it was supposed to be like a crazy action-packed episode but that it looks like they're saving that for the next one of course um super hyped for the next one by the way but yeah, man, that Gene, um, you know, that Gene uh, PlayStation 2 scene, man. Funny as heck in my eyes, man. Funny. I didn't, I wasn't irritated. I wasn't bothered by it. I just found it funny. It's all right, then. Thank you. Thank you so much, Blessed. Uh, bless. uh, yo, but gents, um, to be quite frank, uh, yeah, man, so far with the story, I'm pretty, I'm pretty cool with it, man. Uh, we've got our equal amount of action after so much story. But uh, yeah, bruh. Um, do you guys know anything that we should look out for or look um, oh, forward okay, to? Yeah. I've got a question. I've got a question. Since oh, it's yeah. your first time seeing everybody, right, from Gene to that useless dude, Connie. By the way, I am one of the biggest Connie haters out there, man. I don't understand how this dude is still alive, bruh. I do not understand how this dude is still alive, right? But anyways, let's move on. As I said, um, so what are your thoughts on, you know, Mikasa's design, the short hair, um, just the suit design for the um, scouts and everything, because it's your first time seeing it. So what are your thoughts on that? You know, their gear, that, now that they're using Kenny's gear from season three, as we see. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts on that, man? Wow, man, I was actually very impressed. Um, geez, guys, uh, yo, <laughs> I was not waiting for it. I mean, I did see it through the trailer, and I was like, uh, like what, 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 what difference is it gonna make? And now I can just see that, hey, man, these guys really came prepared. Um, in terms of everybody, just the the, the, the design to everyone's character, just just growing up and all that, bro, looking all grown. It's just wow, man! It was really refreshing, you know. Um, but all in all, I do, I do believe that you know, with a bit more screen time, I'll probably adjust to everything. Um, because I'm still not okay with well, Mikasa's design per se, but she still looks fire, no cap. And oh, guys, our second best girl, Sasha. Woo! That woman has my heart. A woman that can sniper. Always has my heart, bro. With the perfect headshots, viewers play a lot of COD. Yeah, you'd you'd understand the sexiness of of a headshot. So yeah, man, oh, that was pretty. That was pretty new, man. I liked it. I liked it. No lie, I liked it a lot. But uh, yeah, man. Sasha, yeah. I forgot that we actually saw Sasha in the episode, man. But um, yeah, with regards to Gabby, as we see, man, she's grabbing the sniper. She's angry at these Eldians, these scouts. So, yeah, what are your thoughts on that as well with regards to the whole thing of Aaron? Actually, yeah, let's get into it. Aaron, 
as you can see now, he's transitioned from that irritating kid that we knew from season one through three, right? Through two, three. Um, so what are your thoughts on that right now? As Mikasa even made him realize that he's like, Aaron, look around you and look at what you've done. You've killed innocent people, civilians and children, you know? And Aaron's response to that obviously was like, Yo, let's focus on what's actually happening right here in front of us. I don't want to pay attention to whatever you're saying right now. I told you that I'm moving forward and that's the way it's going to be. It's either you roll with me or you don't. That's the attitude that he's currently got. So what are your thoughts on that, seeing his transition? Yo, Mr. Um, do you want to take over first before I lay on anything? Yeah, you know, with the whole transition thing, so it's a bit concerning. But I'm glad for him, you know. I really like. I was a huge Aaron fan when I started the show, and I'm still, I still, I'm still, I'm still a huge fan. Still, is there? Like, I remember he was like a crybaby and whatnot. But I don't know. It's like you know, certain main characters you, you connect with the people that you like. So, am I a crybaby? I don't really know. Anyways, Aaron flip bro, killing acting as if it's nothing. Did you see that, bro? It just reminds me. He, he's like just walking around like it's nobody's business, bro. Beating the, 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 what, the beating the, 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 I don't even know what to call it, bro. Like, he's just beating this, this, um, ha- uh, Warhammer Titan. It's like, it's nothing, bro. Da, da, da. And, oh, my God. And when we saw Mikasa coming in, you know, and the uh, Blitz just mentioned, he's like, nah, bro, let's focus on the mission. Don't tell me your stories. Keep that for another time. I don't know, you know, type of vibe. I was like, yo, this man's really grown up, you know. He knows what he's there for. He's there, mindset on the mission, you know. And I'm just glad to see that because that's what we need, you know. But, but Loki, I feel as if it does actually contradict what he was about before, you know. Um, yeah. He did say that him and Ryan are the exact same people. So um, I think also also Aaron is going through the same dilemma that um, Rhino was going through. But now we can tell that, hey, bro, this is the attack titan. This is... This guy is not stopping for nobody, and it, and he's not stopping anytime soon, I believe. But um, yo, yeah, man. Uh, besides that, hey, so even seeing him run up to to the Malians, um, the, the the generals and all that, and literally, I don't know what he did, but he just threw himself at them. It was funny. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like imagine, bro. Imagine just sitting on the stairs, and next thing you see is the Tag Titan coming with an elbow to your face. Yeah, man, that was pretty. <laughs> that was pretty extreme. But all in all, man, all in all, man, um, I do believe that now we are all concerned about if Aaron is actually in the right or in the wrong right now. You know, we all asking ourselves, does this really make Aaron the bad guy or, you know, if he's still the good guy? Because we all know that everybody grows up and right now, the way at, and the pace that Aaron is going at, um, I believe that, yeah, man, we could be seeing a different side to him. Um, so, yeah, man, it's just, you know, there's a lot of concerns and questions that one must ask themselves at this point about Aaron. You'll get all the answers soon, man. You will. Yeah, I'd just like to add to that, too. Like, you, like, you know, everyone's growing up thing. Like, you know, as I was watching the episode, I was like, oh, my gosh, everyone's grown up, you know? Like, for example, Sasha, when she did that headshot, she had that serious face, bro. She had that, that serious face. Like, like if, you, if you come next to me, I'll beat your ass type of face, you know? And then with Gene, it's like, he's, I don't necessarily, I don't want to say compassionate, more compassionate, but he's, I think, like, everyone has changed in a way from what we have seen so far. Like, with the whole Sasha thing, I was, like, shocked, bro. Like, that face, I don't know why, that that straight face that I saw there wasn't the same potato-eating girl that I, that I saw back in season one, you know? It wasn't the same. And that guy there, that, that uh, CGI Spider-Man guy... CGI. Yeah, you know that CGI yeah. Spider Man guy yeah. that we saw there? He wasn't the same loudmouth, uh, cocky dude that we saw back in them days, you know. So, yeah, I just wanted to add on that. Yeah, exactly. You can see that Gina's taking on a more leadership pro. But um, one thing that I do love, though, with regards to how everyone is right now, is you can see that they are on a mission, right? They are on a mission and they are doing what needs to be done. Right, they're not thinking about the casualties and everything. They are on a mission. They are behaving like soldiers, right? So that's yeah. the one thing that I really, really liked seeing. Even Connie, I mean, even though the fool did forget to flip and put on the lights, you know, because I said I don't like this dude. I don't like this dude on bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, yeah, they are 
soldiers they are doing their jobs you know as i said gene um as mist pointed out has taken a more leadership role sasha a bit more serious than the usual even connie more serious than the usual so yeah uh, i guess this is how it will be um from here onwards throughout the season so yeah yo where's almond guys that's my question i didn't see almond pull up you know and uh i'm getting a little worried <laughs> getting a little worried where's almond man where is almond well we don't know we, we don't know <laughs> uh, all right all right but yo man yeah it's pretty it's pretty okay gents um that you know we've seen these guys we've literally grown up with these guys you know seeing our our once upon time heroes taking on such a huge role these days and uh yeah man it's just i it's not what i expected in the season to be quite honest with you although that it'd still be the same hero heroes that we actually have you know from back in the first three seasons but now we can see that no this is a more serious and more dire situation that um requires a lot of change and a lot of um a lot of gut to be quite honest so yeah man yeah um yeah. so yeah. You know, do you guys like, have anything i said yeah yeah just like you said the heroes and you said that people have changed and stuff like i feel like the only person that hasn't really changed in the show is levi because did you see that bro mm. how the music changed when he just entered the scene down oh my gosh bro this guy was just packing packing heat bro you, did you see that everything changed when levi showed up i just want to add that because like i really went crazy i went crazy dude like yo 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 i don't know it, bro. <laughs> wait what's this what's going on <laughs> like, you see his face it's like what are these guys they're just humans but they're trying to kill me yeah do you see that my gosh bro that's like mm. so <laughs> that's exactly what i'm talking about man that's exactly what i'm talking about i'm not a fan of that you know because as i said galliard is my favorite titan shifter bro you know and i yeah. really love levi at the same time i really do love levi at the same time but like yeah it really is um dope to see these guys actually you know put their foot down and show them that yo we might be humans but we can kick your ass bro if we have to you know so that's currently what's going on right now these eldians are not afraid of the titans at all i mean they've got the technology which are uh, thunder spears right to take these yeah, these things yes, down perfect. so they're not afraid of them at all at all so yep man galliard you shouldn't be shocked bro yeah man also also i like so sad just um yeah it's quite it's quite weird um <laughs> It's quite odd that Eren is really defeating, I mean, hurting and actually killing the exact same people that he's trying to save. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot in this show. But yeah, man, um, I missed, is there anything that you'd like to add on? Yeah, I'd just like to add to what Blitz said, you know, about the whole how he's not a fan of that. I'm sorry that you're not a fan, but you know, <laughs> it's Levi, bro. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I understand it's Levi, man. As I said, I'm a Levi fan myself, man. I do understand. Oh, now let's, let's talk real facts here, man. Um, Levi or or Gilead? You're putting me on the spot, but I'm um, obviously <laughs> Levi. Levi all the way. Thank you. Thank you. In terms of Titan shifters, I do go Gilead. That's all right. So reasons good. that I will explain in a later episode. Right, but most yeah. definitely Galliard. Favorite Titan shifter, but favorite character, Leva. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. So, yeah, man. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Um, of course, please do the usual like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Of course. Of course, man. Um, you know, it's from the family, the Aquan family here. For the love of anime and mist. I think this is where you come in, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like I always say, you know it. <laughs> what you know about anime, boy? <laughs>